Okay, I want to talk a little bit about fuel flow, fuel flow problems with, with mowers. I think a lot of um, times that we have a problem with a motor or something, we think it's something major and it's only something simple. And these two cylinder motors, they require three things to operate. They require air, um, they require gasoline, and they require a spark. Now, of course, you got to have good compression, and of course, you know, all those things inside the motor have to be taking place. Your valves got to be seated properly, all those good things. But let's just, for a minute, let's just say that all components on the inside of the motor we think are, are correct, but it's just something that keeping your motor from running, not running properly. Um, earlier this summer, this machine right here is 60 inch gravely. Um, it's got a 25 Kawasaki on it. Um, I could run it and it would get, uh, after we run it for about 35, 40 minutes, it would start to cut out and lose power. And so since I have two tanks, I thought maybe there's trash in the tanks. So I took my um, cap off you got a hose. Now this is a top feed line that comes in these and it, it goes in, goes to a little um, grommet right here, little seal, and then falls down inside the tank. A lot of times um, on the inside of the tank, the hose will actually, the ethanol will actually eat that hose in two. And I, I thought maybe that had happened and the hose was actually sucking air. So I tried switching from one tank to the other tank. That didn't solve my problem. And I just, uh, next thing I thought, first thing, one of the first things I'll do, I'll change spark plugs. I looked at my old spark plugs. They look good. I, I checked the hours when the last time I changed them. And they should have been good. So I changed them anyway. That didn't cure my problem. So... I looked, when I looked in both tanks and I, and I found out that both of the filters inside the tanks were not stopped up, um, the one thing that I didn't think about or didn't even bother to check was the f first thing I should have checked, which was fuel filter. So I pulled the fuel filter off and... Um, I give it what I call the the lip test. I just put it up to my mouth to see if I could blow through it. And my test is, is simple. If I can blow through the filter, I know the gasoline's nasty, you put shit and put it in your mouth, all this stuff. I just wipe it off a little bit and blow through it. And if I can blow through that filter at a good, strong rate, then I feel like the filter is good. Um when I took this filter off, not this exact filter here, but another filter that was on there, when I took it off and started to blow through it, I could not blow air through it at all. And I blew, you know, there's usually an arrow on here that, that shows you the correct way the fuel is supposed to flow. And I blew in that direction, and I could not blow air through it. And I said, well, there's my problem. So what would happen, I guess, as it ran it would just slowly stop itself up. When you first cranked it up, it would run fine, but after it ran for a good 30 minutes, it would quit. The mower would completely cut out and quit. It was getting no gas. First thing to check on, on a mower, and I would suggest changing those out at least once a year, um, you know, because you're in dust and dirt and grime and you're blowing stuff all the time. You're making a whirlwind of uh, just and and slow to the ground, and I think even despite the, our best efforts, you know, there's still a possibility of contaminating, you know, your gasoline somehow. And uh, so your your fuel line, check that out. I thought maybe I'd be getting air. I can usually listen to a motor and tell if it's sucking air, and it didn't sound like it was sucking air. But I noticed I had to choke the motor. And it would crank when I choked it. 
and uh, that's a sign too because you, when you choke it, you actually you actually make that cylinder pull that gas. It has to pull that gas through the line, uh, and the gas should actually flow freely through this filter. It should flow. It should be flowing when you take the the uh, filter loose. That gas should flow out of there real nice and easy and free. So that's just uh, food for thought there on checking your fuel systems, checking and and what will cause it to shut down on you. Uh, a lot of time, you know, and the filters, what, maybe two dollars, three dollars, something like that. Uh, very easy, very cheap fix. I mean, self-explanatory. Just undo the clamps, pull them off, put your new filter on. You're back in business. Um, but those are some of the things that you're going to run into that where you can fix it yourself and diagnose it yourself without having to take it to a shop. And, um, you know, as often as you change out fuel filters and stuff, you still might get one that stops up on you at some point. So, you know, just trade it out, put your new one on, and, and ride. Um, but hopefully this will help someone somewhere that uh, is having an issue with something. Thank you very much. Appreciate you watching.